Hi everyone. So here are both my hands, right? So I think the question is, who's holding the camera? Well, that's actually an easy answer. Titan's doing it. See, I gave him a treat and he was like, sure, I'll hold the camera for you. I'll hold the phone, it's fine. So there, 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 there's your answer. Okay, uh, let's do this. I can't really give you answers yet because I've only got about half of you uh, who turned this in. And uh, so that's not fair, right? So let's do this. I'm gonna make this video to help you solve these problems. And I certainly will probably get close to the answer on some of them because there isn't really much of actual teaching that needs to happen here. Um, but I will give you the uh, the answers a little bit later this evening, okay? And I'll put them out on uh, Remind for you, okay? All right, so number one, look at the radical. There it is. There's the radical right there, okay? What is a rewritten form of this radical? Well, okay, so the real way to do this is to simplify this radical. You know, uh, find a perfect square that could fit into 726 and then simplify it all the way down until you get something like this. That seems to be a little bit much. So what we can do instead is Put this value, stop writing on here. If you put this value into the calculator and get a decimal result, all you need to do is find out which one of these also has that same decimal result when you put it in the calculator. So for example, negative eight root 726 gives you a decimal. If you plugged in negative 88 root six, if it's the same decimal as that, that's your answer. If it's not the same decimal as that, move on to uh, choice B, okay? Number two. Exactly the same idea. So the real way to do this is to um, multiply these together. So outside times outside, but that's a one there. Inside times inside. And then simplify it. And then you would get the same simplification here. Or we can do the cool cheating way. Put this entire expression into the calculator, get a decimal value. Do the same thing with these four choices, get a decimal value. You're trying to match the decimal values together. That'll be your answer. Number three. Which sum is rational? Okay, remember that rational numbers um, are numbers that either, they're either whole numbers or decimals that terminate or decimals that go on forever with the same exact pattern. So like root, um, so one third, that's rational because 0.3 repeating is a rational number. So you're just trying to combine these and see which is rational. I think that you'll realize that the answer is easier than you think it is, okay? But using a calculator might help there. Okay. Number four, which product is irrational? Okay, so product multiply, multiply. Same exact idea, except irrational is where I have a decimal value that goes on forever with no pattern. Okay, moving on. Hopefully your day's going fantastic. Okay, number five. A rectangle has a length of 12 meters and a width of 400 centimeters. Whoa! Okay, meters and centimeters problem, right? We need to have the same thing. What is the perimeter in centimeters of the rectangle? Okay, two things you need to know. First, that centimeters is good to go. That's not. I need to convert 12 meters to centimeters. So a quick Google calculation will do that for you. And if I want perimeter, I'm looking for adding up all four sides of that rectangle. Okay, okay. Number six. Oh my God. Jill swam 200 meters in two minutes and 42 seconds. If each lap is 50 meters long, which time is her estimated time in seconds per lap? Okay, so again, we're looking at estimated time in seconds per one lap, okay? So we wanna find out how much, how many seconds it took her to do that. Um, we've got two minutes and 42 seconds. What you wanna do is you wanna convert all this to seconds, okay? And then see how many times, or, well, the meters here, she swam 200 meters and each lap is 50 meters. So clearly that has to be four laps, right? Cause four, got it, four, four laps because it's 50. Okay, so she did four laps. Convert this to seconds and then just divide the time by the, uh, the laps. And then you can see how long it took or you can draw it out and have a good time. Okay, that's not number seven. Okay. In which expression is the coefficient of the n term negative one? Okay, coefficient means the number in front of a variable. 
and the n term. A little bit of a clarity here. Not the n squared term. Not the n squared term. The n term. Okay. You. Okay. The expression s squared is used to calculate the area of a square where s is the side length of the square. What does the expression 8x squared represent? Okay, well, this is way simpler than it seems to be. There's an 8x where what used to be? S. Okay. You figure that out. Number nine. Oh, gosh. So easy. What is the product of 7x minus 4 and 8x plus 5? Put parentheses around these two things. Product means multiply. Please foil. Foil! Last one, number 10. You've seen this problem before, um, at least once. So model of the house is shown. What is the perimeter in units? Please remember that perimeter is the adding of all of the outside lines. Outside, that's not outside. That's not outside, that's inside. No, no good. Not, not outside. Don't do this one, okay? All right, that's 10 problems. I'll post the answers later. See ya. Goodbye.